Hey guys, it's Aaron. This video is addressed directly to Steve Fletcher. <sighs> okay, look, this is very painful. This is a very hard thing to do. I do not want to do this at all. I've never done this before. I don't like this kind of stuff. But sometimes things need to be said. As a parent, I've got two kids. If one of the kids was to punch another guy in the face, am I supposed to just tell him, let them slap you in the face because you're Christian? No, you correct the behavior. That's a loving thing to do as a father. If I see my friend down the street getting punched in the face every single day, getting bullied year after year, video after video, and I do nothing, that's not good. At some point, you have to step in and say something. And this is a situation where it has to, be, has to happen. I've got to step in. Steve, Matthew 18, verse 15, 16 and 17. Moreover, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he hears you, you have gained your brother. I messaged you in 2021 and 2022, trying to address these issues with you, and you declined. If you want, go ahead and share those comments and those that conversation that we had. It'll make you look bad. My intent here is not to make you look bad. I'm just correcting poor behavior. Verse 16, but if he will not hear you, take with you one or two more, that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Read your comment section on your videos. That's enough said there. Verse 17, and if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he refuses even to hear the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. I tried to talk to you in person. The church community has tried to talk to you. You're not listening to the people, okay? We can't slander and bully people online, on social media, and not talk to them individually. Okay, so that's one thing. Number two, um, this is just a general thing. The only thing that we really need to be attacking is false prophets, and false prophets are those that say, Jesus told me the rapture date, or Jesus told me to tell you blah, 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 and it's not true at all. When people are trying to share scriptures and their studies and their interpretations of what they see, that is not false prophet. That does not need to be corrected. If people are just sharing their study, they're just sharing what God is putting on their heart. Could they be wrong? Maybe. Okay? But here, I'm going to show you this, this thing. What do you see here? There's, there's purple and yellow here. But you know, because of the video, you actually probably can't see that there's white paint right here. It just depends on the person and how they're looking at the Bible and how they're interpreting what they are seeing. So when it comes to Dr. Barry, he's coming on going, Hey guys, I'm doing this for free, by the way. I study the Bible for thousands of hours, and I'm just going to give you what I see as a painting in the scriptures. Could he be wrong on certain things? Absolutely. Guess what? He's not God. He's a human being. And he puts up his charts, he puts up his studies for free, not asking for anything, just doing it for the love of God, and then... Some, some brother comes by and says, rebukes him for his interpretation on when Shavuot is and when Pentecost is. It's very sad. That's not how you handle anything. That's not how you do it. I was going to make a comedy video and try and address you that way, but I th figured I'd just give you the, the, the decency to talk to you face-to-face -face here. This is the only way I know how to do it. I, like I said, I tried to do this in person. People tried to do this in the comment section, and we got nowhere. you got to stop bullying. You've got to stop being abusive. It's not kind, it's not loving, it's not the fruits of the Spirit. So I'd like you to apologize. That's the way to do it. That's the way to, to do it. It's, it's pathetic, actually. It's sad. And um, I am subscribed from you for years ago. I, I, I don't know what to say right now. I'm kind of like, this is just pathetic. It's pathetic behavior. And um, doesn't show any of the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians 5. Please stop harassing Dr. Barry and start just talking about Jesus returning and throw up your dates like you always do that's great have at it pick a day every five days of the year I don't care it doesn't matter to me you want to just use Jermatri and get a date that's fantastic good for you throw your dates up leave Barry alone very irritated by this this is how I would talk to my 10 year old if they were in conflict you get to a point where it just gets irritating it's like stop slapping your sister stop it Stop slandering your brother. Just stop it. I don't care. The list, you put a list on your video of other watchmen. Like, 
what are you doing? You drag me into this now. S just stop it, okay? Start preaching the love of Christ. Bring people to Jesus Christ. That's why we're here. We think the time is short. What's the point of slandering another watchman? I made a character called Rebuking Rob because of you. This was two years ago. It was inspired because of you. I've tried my best to not bring you into video. Here we are for the first time ever, got a minute doing this because you are a bully with, with your words and with your videos. Let Dr. Barry have his interpretations. Let other people have their interpretations. The only people we need to addressing is, Jesus told me the rapture date, blah, blah, blah. That's a problem. Somebody sharing their studies and their interpretations of how it could play out. Nothing wrong with that. That's a good thing. That's an encouragement to the body of Christ. I hope you hear these words. I really hope you do. I hope you change. I hope you have a repentful mindset here. And we move forward in love. The proper thing to say, hey, Barry, sorry. I went off the rails a couple times in videos. I should have came to you in person. Can we shake hands and start over? That's the proper thing to do. And I guarantee you, in less than three seconds, I guarantee you, because I know the heart of Barry, he would say, forgiven. Let's move on. I know he would. I know he would. He's got the fruits of the Spirit. So my challenge is, be a man. Be Christ-like and say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And move on. I love you, Steve. It's, this pains me to make this video. I didn't want to make this video. I had a real good run on my channel. I never did a video like this once. I took a lot of pride in never doing this. It, now, the harassment has to stop. Let's move on. I don't want to see a video like that again. Take care.